it's hard for me to watch uh, guys that know me. I'm an emotional coach. I'm, I'm a crybaby. <laughs> I'll be yelling one moment and crying the next. But I have great respect for these guys. Unfortunately, we're in a profession. It's about wins and losses. But I've been here so long, Reese. I've been here 21 years. Brian French was one of my captains. And to see him there being able to honor the president, and I've met three presidents, it, I'm just in awe as I sit here because I've coached such great people that are serving our country. And really, for me, it is more than football. Now, don't get me wrong. I want to win games. But this is the – I'm, I'm speechless coaching at this place because it's a unique institution. Coach, have you changed your preparation for this game since you're a huge underdog to Army? I don't, I don't even know what that means, being an underdog. I never look at the point spread. In this profession, you just push on to the next one. This is my 21st game in this, uh, in this game, my 11th as a head coach. And you always approach games the same. Yeah. You know, not from an arrogant standpoint. Uh, you know, we got to look at things and do stuff, but, you know, we've been successful a lot, and we just yeah. try to take some of that stuff in with some of the adjust adjustments that you always do schematically. Coach, what's it like standing in front of your team before Army-Navy game when, I mean, you, you've coached in so many big games in your life, whether it's the Army game or a big bowl game or a big conference game, but every year this has got to be have its own kind of chapter in your, in your coaching career. What's it like to stand there today and address your team? Well, just as you're asking that question, I just thought about Bright French, and I thought about us playing South Carolina and being one of our captains. I thought about us being at the Horseshoe or South Bend, but there's nothing like this game no. because you recognize that after this, that it's over. But you also see these guys that they'll be serving. You think of some of their service assignments, and I think of all the years that I've yelled at them to get their pads down and you know get their eyes right. And these guys will be doing things that protect us. And a lot of times I feel like I'm unworthy to, you know, be coaching these guys.